Oh, Molly, what's up with my hair? Hey, hang on, let me raise you guys up. Hi, Dave. Hey. I forgot to do a uh, crucial part of this. This is going to take a lot longer than I expected. I, aside from just clean up the kitchen a little bit. How's it going, everyone? Camera's on that side. Okay. Sorry. We got to moisturize. We good? You guys ready to learn some pizza recipes? So that's going to be a little bit before I get heavy into the pizza part. But right now, you don't get this. Get on down off the fridge there, cat. How's it going, Molly? How's it going, Meech? All right, right now, this is the, uh, the important part of the process I forgot to do, is um, bring the dough down to roughly room temperature. It's been in the fridge, so maybe 30 minutes to an hour before I actually get into this. I'll be right back. No, I don't make my own dough because I just don't have the time for it. So we get Trader Joe's, which is cost like, you know, maybe a buck and a half, something like that. Um, and it's just as good as anything I would make. So I've never found a recipe I was particularly fond of from uh, the dough I make myself. Um, so yeah, Trader Joe's dough is perfectly, perfectly fine. That is what I standard. I just use the plain. Occasionally I use the wheat. I do not like using, they have a third kind, which is like Italian herb dough. Um, because it will not spin. It's got too much junk in it, and it will rip apart when you try to spin it. Alright, uh, one second. Just adding a little bit of moisture to my hair. And... So I get these round, uh, like, Thai food Tupperware dishes. And uh, I'll ball this and let it sit in there for a little while. All right, so. Okay. And then, then we'll go drop the phone. That's part of the, the, that's a key part of any sample of live stream slash recipe. So I'll put my flour on here. All right, guys, I hope you're not wearing uh, headphones. I know you are. Also, key, wear black. I'm taking this sweater off before I get any more flower intensive. So I'm going to wear this again. I always seem to end up wearing black the day I'm going to do pizza. I don't know how I do that. All right, great. So we'll take our dough. Do that out of this bag. This is looking really sticky. I'm going to need a little more flour. <laughs> All right. And, uh, yeah, we're making a heart-shaped pizza. And our pizza toppings are going to be fig and prosciutto. I've done this recipe probably a dozen other times on, like, on live streams. And, you know, many, many, many times it is one of our standards. Like 50% of the pizza I make is probably fig and prosciutto. Well, that's good. Thank you. Uh, it didn't fall that far as opposed to normally when it falls off because it was already like on the, the table that it fell onto. So it's not the worst. Seems like we're a little delayed. Like about 20 to 30 seconds delayed. Get in there. Get in your... That's good. Okay. So first we're going to basically get flour on all the stickiness. Uh, a little more. This is a particularly sticky dough. And then we'll ball it. Is arugula a standard? No, arugula is not a cheese. Arugula is a uh, leafy green. It is a somewhat spicy leafy green that um, 
we just like to top certain pizzas with and also it gives you a little veggie um, yeah this will not have any because we just don't have any today we forgot to buy arugula otherwise we would totally put it on there um, it's good it's you know it's crispy and it's kind of got a lemony spiciness lemony and spicy we'll just be using uh, mozzarella today so there we've balled it basically the motion is you just tuck it under I'm not doing it for real because I've already done it uh, and then I'm going to add some flour to this and I'll put it in here we're going to cover it with like a cheesecloth um, this is actually a little thicker than the cheesecloth it's about the consistency of like uh, you know a cloth napkin but we're going to get this damp with warm water and if you can't if the water's not warm enough I'll just microwave it for a little bit like 40 seconds at the most depends on the microwave obviously 30 to 40 seconds just to get warm you don't want it piping hot or anything and uh, we're not drenching it I'm wringing it out so it's just got some moisture in it and it's damp And then we'll drape that over the pizza and let it rise, the dough and let it rise. Uh, I just scrubbed back three seconds so it doesn't buffer. Right on. All right. And then after this, we might take a, a small break. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll get the oven ready while I'm here. Maybe get this dirty pan out of my way. So our warm, damp, somewhat damp, not damp in all the right places. Okay. Towel <laughs> or cheesecloth. We'll put that on top of there. And then I will uh, put this on top of the oven, which will eventually be turned on. So it'll get a little heat from that as well, because it's a particularly cold day here. Uh, you try different cheeses on the pizza, get crazy with it. I do. Um, we do a... Uh, couple pizzas with like, a, we'll, I'll do a pizza with a brie, I've done pizza with, uh, I mean I've pretty much done everything in the in the standard rotation of different cheeses, like we'll do taco pizza with uh, mozzarella, Monterey Jack, and cheddar, uh, taco pizza is fantastic, alright I'm going to clean this real quick, um, I'm trying to think, I probably did a gorgonzola at one time and I don't remember why, I've done some pizza with feta or goat cheese. Uh, goat cheese, not, not feta, I don't think. Did I do a feta cheese? Maybe. Um, so yeah, we've done a bunch of different, different cheeses. Uh, and actually, I'll do the one fig. If I had goat cheese, I would probably put it on this one, but I don't think I do. Yeah, we really weren't ready for that. Come on. Kinda, I kind of haven't done a pizza in a month and, a, and a, almost a half, so I'm a little unprepared. I was like, let's just do it. Let's get a pizza. The best pizza I had was just sharp cheddar with nothing, with any toppings on that or just sharp cheddar. This is one of my favorites. Um, it's a good time. I also do like a bacon wrapped uh, date pizza, which is super sweet. And salty, that's fantastic. Uh, and your rosemary chicken pizza was pretty good. And that rosemary chicken pizza, you can do like a brie or uh, or some other, you know, cheeses with that. Can I put that in there? Oh, cheese. Crazy. All right. Uh, let's get this up to. So I'll just turn this oven up as high as it will go. Mine goes up to 500, but I would willingly do a uh, an oven that went up to eight, if possible. 
Uh, yeah, I was just getting this stuff set up. Alright, so let's go outside now. Get that sweater back. Alright. Uh, and let me grab this battery pack for the phone. So that's the that's where we're at right now because I forgot to do that earlier. Let me take a little break, that's important. Hang out with the kids. And then we'll move on to the uh, next phase of prep. There's not a whole lot of prep for this, because like everything's basically done and it's already you know cured and whatnot I gotta make the bechamel and then uh, soak the figs a little bit yeah, Iris leave that what happened to Betty <laughs> or mommy We'll be back in the kitchen in a little bit. What's wrong? What's happening? Uh, I'm always doing the thing. Guys, you guys are still here. I went out to the Wi Fi tent still. Anybody say anything? Oh, good, there's something. Uh, when I was growing up, my dad would make cherry mushrooms. Cheese and mushroom slim crust. Right, that's pretty standard. That's uh, a good time. I like a mushroom pizza. Yeah. What? So we're doing pizza streaming right now. Yeah, well, right now we're doing outside bike riding streaming. We need a little time for the dough that don't try and pop dough. That's why we had to throw the frog one out. Where I just said. I'm not trying to pop Well, don't. 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 <laughs> so, we may not squish this. Don't squish it. Oh God. Call it. It really drops a lot. Yeah, it probably switched over from Wi-Fi to cell or something. Sorry about that. I, I always forget about going out of range of the Wi-Fi. Who said that? Uh, Big Meat. Because a stormtrooper said that. The stormtrooper said that? No, a stormtrooper said that. Okay. Right. I don't think so. I, okay. I think it's with the face. I can't see it right now because I can't reach the phone. No, don't do it. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's, uh, yeah, it's just a person. It's just a person with a hat. What are you eating? That's not a thing. What was mama eating? What did mama say that she was eating? She said your mom. Uh, that's a schoolboy Q album cover. Molly what? says hi, Betty. Hi! Oh my gosh. So hat. much loud. I keep are you done it. with trying to ride your bike? You don't want to try here? Yeah, it's still too big. You gotta grow. You only need like one more inch. And I think you'll be able to pull this bike off. No, I need like six more. I mean, I don't think you need that many inches. Like, you'll be fine. Because you, you can already tippy toe. So if you got another inch, you'll be able to like get your feet flat on the ground. Like that. Yeah. Like that. But my skiers will be up. Right. Silly filter. Hey, your man. I am chilly. Daddy, close my leg. Um, I don't want to. Ah, it won't on. stop the stream. Well, it's not about stopping the stream. It's about looking extremely silly. I, I <laughs> want to look okay. extremely silly. Yes, go. Uh, we're already on that one. That's 
too, are those great bubbles. Bubbles. It goes great with my area costume. There's bubbles out in the sky, guys. Okay. Get that that okay. The important part of the recipe is uh, like, you know, five, ten minutes of like bubble filter. One problem with cooking live. Looks like it, it is kind of cloudy, although the bubble filter makes it look way cloudier. It is a little cloudy here. Especially the angle that we're in. Well, look, that all look rainbow. It's also trippy. Everyone's on acid. Oh, God. Oh. We're rainbowing. We are rainbowing. There's a rainbow up in the sky. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Oh, look. This is neat. We're here, really. Pretty crazy. You're rainbow. Just color filters. I should have told it live when I put the start of the oven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? That's 8 millimeter. What is this? Looks like we've recorded this. Iris, what are you doing? What did you say, Dada? Come away from Mommy's car. It looks like we recorded this what? On an 8 millimeter film TV thing camera. Cry. Like that's the effect that it does. That's what it's Can we scroll? Yeah. Whoa, what's this? I like that very neat piece of Yeah. It's all right. Whoa. This is There's no really good applicable uses for any of these things to mine. Yeah, uh, that's too gray. Reminds me of gesture. I don't know. Yeah, no, no. Yes, you don't need to pick the phone up, actually. Oh. You can just not pick the phone up. No, I just... Oh, the dashboard battery one. Bubbles. The uh, battery pack. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Hey, I was almost in the first. Oh my god, how oh, it's wet. No, stop, stop, stop. stop. Everyone is digging their feet in the mid-leg. You can share. Sorry, I was digging into my, my, my uh, calf there. Bubbles! Alright, that's the, uh... Looks like that. Mama! Ray! Yeah, because it's kind of reconnect. I don't know if we're back or not. We might be back, we might not be back. Oh no, man. Oh no, girls. I think we're back because it didn't, it's not doing the circle or anything like that. Somebody oh. say something. Uh, 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 give them a minute. It might take a minute to reconnect to them. Yay, there we are. Okay. Quality got better too? Well, that's good. I wonder if because I moved it to like a foot, if it uh, reconnected to the uh, the Wi-Fi, <laughs> and that was the weird issue. Hi, what are you doing? Oh shoot! I forgot to do the battery. I put it on and then I didn't turn it on. Hopefully that's worked. Is them completely. Now, the now live notification showed up on Discord. Okay, great. I hope it's charging. I just got my 10% warning, and that ain't good. Wait, who's that? Is it Ariel? No, across the street, that's Larry. Uh. Uh, they, they seriously have such similar faces that if you do the face swap on Snapchat, you don't know what happened. You're like, okay, nothing really changed. Why? Because you guys have the same face. The only difference is your eye color and hair color. I got blue eyes. Daddy, where's the other swap chat? Oh, we haven't done it for years. Snapchat? That's like animal. That, yeah, that's Snapchat. The face swap thing. But where is it? It's a different program. We can't do it at the same time as live stream. I know, but I want to do it again. We'll do it. You got to remind me one of these days. But after, after the live stream. Maybe. After the live stream is probably going to be dinner. But I don't know. But we'll wait, mommy, 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 mommy,
can't because we're live. No. <laughs> no. Don't get all crazy. Very serious. Uh, what? Okay. I thought it was on my leg. It must. Daddy, could you call me No, I don't want to call you those lines. That's actually. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that concept. Okay, are we still bike riding or are we too busy with this? Um, I feel like it, but I'm not. Okay. Hey, Marshall, you want to bike ride? Okay. You want to help her bike ride? You want to push her at all? Mommy said I couldn't. Mommy said you couldn't? Mm -hmm. Um, because potentially she might ride something. Probably not. And Iris doesn't wear one because she's on a trike that doesn't go very fast. So there's all that. She's about to come right at you guys and not be able to. Nope, there she goes. Alright. Wait, why is that down? So it's light and there she goes. Now she's backing up. <laughs> oh, man. Now she's backing up! Look behind you! Daddy, what is it there? That is where the buttons on my phone show up. These buttons here Why? come out here. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to press them. But what is that? That's for the camera um, and the light. Oh, it's there because you have strips here. I don't know. You can just do this twice. Oh. Uh, you watch them all? No! Have they started? I didn't even know they'd started. Who said that? Uh, Big Meat. Who's Big Meat? Uh, the chat room where Daddy. Uh, we might put anything online and check out some of the stuff. <coughs> Last year. Right. Oh, and I forgot to see. I don't know what in the heck is. Oh, it's the Matters shirt. Okay. Um, yeah, it started early this earlier this week, and I forgot about it. Yeah, I vaguely remember that it was coming up, and then I didn't know it had started yet at all. What are you doing, monster? Biggest talent pools to dip into. What? I think that makes sense. What is it, Daddy? What's the biggest talent pool? The United States. Country. That you know, like one of the top four populations <laughs> in the world or something. I think it's like seven people. Uh, I always remember the 1996 Winter yeah. Olympics and the gymnastics. Do they, wait, do they do gymnastics that? during the Winter Olympics? I didn't even remember. That. We might actually watch that because this one is going to start taking gymnastics. Classes in the summer. I kind of tried to save the stream. Save the stream. Save the stream. Save the world. We must save the stream. I can't remember my helmet. Sorry. Tardar. Uh, six women did it in there. I think my favorite winner was speed skating. Right on. Who loves curling? Me. Really? Oh, okay. There you go. Number one curling fan of the Kluth family. Daddy hug me. Daddy, what does curling mean? Curling is a sport um, where they, they have like this big, heavy, uh, like weight with a little handle on it. It's like real heavy. I don't even know. It's like 30, 40 pounds or whatever. And there's three people. And one person tries to throw the weight on the ice and slide it as far as they can. And the other two people have these very uh, stiff brooms. And 
they get in front of it and they're like brushing the ice to try and smooth it out to get to uh, trying to get um, uh, it's just a target you're trying to get the uh, what do I call the stone I think it's just called a stone uh, they try and get the stone as close to the center of the target as possible so, by either smoothing or roughing up the ice how do they rough it I think the balloons have a second side or they just stop brushing I don't know I actually don't know what's up Iris Oh, honey. Can Betty push you? Do you want to push her? I'm going to keep pushing you. Well, I'm going to... One of us is going to push Iris. So, you want to watch the stream? Yeah, I've seen accidents on those in the past. Really? What? Accidents on what? From, from curling or speed skating? Speed skating would make more sense. I'll be right back. What accident? Hard for me to push with those. My back. Isn't like bending over this much. Why? It like this. This is my new bike. Good. I'm talking to the shark. So, um, this is my, oh, two people said something. said something. I also like the skiing one where they try to jump as far as possible. Sure. Yeah, they wouldn't win, but they go up pretty quick and they try again. Okay. Yeah. Why did they say try again? The sheep. So okay. guys, um, we're doing pizza. Say first, I thought we were having. No, and Mama's the nice guy. No, Mama's the mean giant. Mama is the mean giant. No, both of them are not. Do well. Right here. High five. Was the way the Winter Olympics would work at the time, they didn't want to give up. Right on. Right. I'm bring you guys over here. I think the girls are doing their tree to tree running at this point. See that? I'm so confused. At what it, where is my camera right now? Oh, okay. My phone upside down or whatnot. I keep doing that when I put the wrong 
camera on the wrong side. Anyway, so as soon as Amanda comes back out, I can actually go in and probably start doing pizza stuff. This was a nice break, but let's get going here. It's five o'clock, right? Oh, good. Where's your wife? I don't know. You want to go try and see if she's ready to come hang out with you guys? No. Oh. Bye. She's not. Here. You okay? Let's go to Grandma. She's getting ready for a I'm letting my parents go to Grandma. I lost the baby. Okay. Oh, lady then. So FYI, Meech, tomorrow, I don't remember what time I'm supposed to be doing this thing, but uh, I'm going down to Hollywood, and on my way back, as long as my phone's still got a charge to it, I will be able to live stream as I drive through Hollywood, so look for that. I think it's early in the morning. Like, not early, early, but I think it's in the morning, my time. So, early afternoon, your time. That's probably when that happens, but I'm not positive. Alright, let's see if Amanda's ready to do stuff. You ready? For what? To come out here until I can make pizza? What? Hey girls, mommy wants us to go in. Okay, I'm putting your bikes and your helmet and your ice pack away. But I can only do so much because I can't leave you alone. Okay. It feels red. Um, go inside and ask mommy to look at it, please. You can't take your pants off outside. Go inside. Take your dolls inside, too. Take these with you. No, stop! We're going inside. No, we're Go, 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 go. careful. No, we're not. We're going in. <laughs> Iris, come get your bike. Alright, so I need you to bring the tricycle to the backyard. So I can bring Betty's bike. Okay. Here. Tricycle to the back. This is not gonna happen, is it? Come this way. Up here. Can you do it? It's a slight incline. So slight. So slight. Curling's on MB right now. I know. Okay. Ow. Something on his bike just poked me. Alright. Okay. This to here, maybe. And I can help Iris. Come on, Iris. Oh, it's getting weird. I didn't lose you guys, did I? Okay. Come on. You can do it. You got this. Okay, uh huh. Sweet. Slow and steady. Ends the race. Great job, Iris. Okay. Alright, let me get that other thing. This bike. 
Now you're going too fast. Uh, okay. Plank in the garage. Can I do this one handed? There we go. All right. I think we can actually go to the kitchen. All right, Iris, I'll do it from here. Okay, you can go inside. Uh, go inside the house or play out back. Don't play in the garage. Nope, we're out of here. No, we're not playing with that thing right now. Go get that panda bear too. Bring it in. Okay. Daddy's going in, making pizza. Taking this black sweater back off. Oh yeah. Am I locked out of the back door though? No, we're good. Going out, Nara? Okay. All right. Done with all that. All right. So what we're gonna do is leave us here for a second. We're back in the kitchen. I want to just grab my. Uh, cord that fits this battery case, which probably won't reach, but we'll try it. Alright, and see if we can't get you plugged in securely. Alright, so I'll be right back and then we'll do some pizza. I really love how the notifications for your stream are... Oh, that's good. You're like the only person who gets it because you hit the bell. My mom never knows <laughs> when I'm on or not. I'll be right back, guys. Two seconds. Okay. Yeah, buddy. I know, but mommy's doing stuff, and I gotta get moving on dinner because it's already. After five. Yeah, but it's gonna be dark soon, and it's late. I have to start Play in the back. Our, our day tomorrow. You have school tomorrow. Okay, I need to do a little laundry. Maybe you want a little bath. No, it's not moving. Oh, well, Betty, enough with that. To go well, for a stream before I got the right YouTube now. app for a few days ago. Well, gotcha. Cool. You guys were home from school Thursday and Friday last week and you watched a bunch of stuff. So that's that true. Was constituted for, that was movie day last weekend. Hey, buddy. So next weekend, this coming weekend, it will be movie day on oh, next weekend. Saturday. Can we write it on the calendar? Yeah. Oh, the day that. It's the day that Grandma Grandma Grandpa is going to stay home after you go to bed. So it's the day before. Look at that. So Super fun. Alright, so I'm going to heat this back up. Okay. So that last day when you're like anxiously awaiting them to come? What do you think we should watch for movie day next week? So, I think we should watch a movie. Hey, what's up, Boom Poet? Can't stay alive in the morning. Say hi. Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, man, how you doing? Taking this back off. On that day? Okay. What is she wanting? Here, I'll write movie day up there, and then you can write your name under that. Yeah. Hang on, guys. What do you want to write it with? Okay. So yeah. I guess I should push it back down to there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it goes back to a little more flour on it. Yeah. Over here. Okay, and you can write Betty under it. You can write over that yellow line, but we don't, we don't need that yellow line. But don't worry why? About it. 
Because that was for the cats, but they're not coming anymore. She said Strawberry Shortcake, which is actually a show, not a movie. Well, it depends. The new... Look at this. I was going to pick this bag up to throw it in the bag. Got a cat in it? Yeah. Uh, the new one is a show, but the old ones are basically long enough that they're movies, essentially. All right. Put your things back here. Um, What's that? So the oven's heated, that's flour, it's fed out here. Betty's running on the fridge, so I can't gather my things. We're gonna... Alright, we're gonna do a, uh, a white bechamel sauce. What? Uh, her helmet and that piece of Betty's bike are on my seat. My place setting, but the bikes are put away in this. Like a dining table. And do you normally put goat cheese on this? Is that what you do? We don't have it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Betty is at the curious age. Yeah. Good way of putting it. So if you could wrap it up after you write your name, do something else. Okay, awesome, great. Alrighty, let's see. So, I don't know why you think I would ever ask that. So we're going to soak these for uh, basically until we're ready to use them because they are dried. Normally we use fresh figs. Uh, occasionally I've used frozen figs, which is super fun to slice because then you're like, oh, that's so cold. But uh, yeah, so... These, these basically look like this, and then the inside of these look like a Fig Newton paste. Um, so I'm just going to get a little thing here. I've never done this quite the way I'm doing it. And normally it would take like six big figs would be enough. I'm probably going to do seven just because I'm not sure what I'm going to get out of this. So I'm just dropping these into the water. It's just cold water. Maybe warm water would be a better idea. I really don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so okay. Oh, and uh, yeah. So that's what the inside is just like typical. And they're really, really sweet. So I'm gonna throw these on. I'm gonna put them on top of the stove, give them a little heat. 
I have no idea. If that'll do anything, or whatever. So yeah, it's very seedy, but uh, very, very, very sweet. Uh, it literally tastes like a Fig Newton. Um, okay, go. Probably should have shook them a little while ago, like when I started the dough off. But... What's up? So... Like it's feta? Yeah, but that's so good. Oh, that's the question. Oh, that's so cool. Milk. I don't see the feta. Hang on, Sam will be right back as he searches for TV. Wait, I think we found it. So, uh, you guys like stuff? Feta. We're gonna throw some feta on this. Normally, I put goat cheese. We don't have goat cheese. fine. They're kind of, since we don't have goat cheese and we don't have arugula, the tanginess of the feta, I think, will actually help compensate for that. Yeah, I'm trying to feta. Yeah, but normally we put goat cheese on this. Yeah. That's feta. All right. So these I'm going to put over here. Somewhere. in quite a while. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, I'm putting you guys back down here for this is the bechamel. We're going to put some yogurt. This is real simple. It's just yogurt and milk. And then you just take like a big heaping tablespoon or so of uh, yogurt. Add enough milk to thin it out to a sauce-like consistency. Usually have feta on salad, yeah. Again, I usually do like a goat cheese on this. All right. Is that gonna be enough? Wait, what? I am making the white sauce. This is bechamel, so it's yogurt and milk. Instead of a red sauce, we'll be using this. I actually do probably more pizzas with this than I do red sauce now. Yeah, that's going to be more milk. Yeah, I'm playing for a gallon. Feta cheese is definitely top five cheeses for you. Right on. Yeah, I do like me a good feta cheese. What, you, what is your favorite? Okay. This is still pretty thick. So, a little thinner than that. It should get, you know, not runny, but just. My top five cheeses, I'm not sure I can put them in an order right now. Um, Gorgonzola. Gouda, Munster, Provolone, and maybe Feta. All right, so that's that's about what we're looking for. This might be a little lumpier than I would want. Nah, it's fine. Smoker Gouda, yeah, Smoker Gouda is fantastic. That's our big, like, we're having guests over. Let's get a smoked Gouda and, like, a fancy blue cheese or something. I can't remember. I just had, uh, 
Forgot about provolone. Provolone's like, provolone is probably my favorite sandwich cheese. And then Munster is like my favorite. I just want to have cheese with like toast or something kind of cheese. Like I'm going to melt that. Munster is the one I go to. Yeah. Yeah, we had this provolone discussion. You and I are from Pennsylvania, where provolone is the only sandwich cheese. <laughs> like any other cheese is not right. Yeah. It's rare. There are, like I, I've said this before, there are a few sandwiches where I will want a different cheese, but generally provolone is where I'm at. It's the perfect sandwichy cheese. Alright, that's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, let's get back up here. I don't know if I'm ready to actually... Provolone, well, Swiss has a very distinct flavor. Really? Oh, I can. I could definitely blindfold taste test the difference between Provolone and Swiss. Um, Alright. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this dough yet. I'd like it to be a little warmer. It's still pretty cold. I'm gonna, um, I can't put into words what the difference is, but there is a distinct difference to me. Okay. Move this closer to the vent. Get a little warmer. My uh, my oven has like a little crack where it leaks out heat from the oven onto about the stove area, so I just put my dough right under that area to warm it up just a little. Ideally it's just, just cooler than room temperature. That gives it the right amount of elasticity. Um, I don't think Swiss would make a good, no, no. Unless you're specifically making like a cordon bleu uh, pizza with like ham and chicken and Swiss. Then yeah, I don't think you could pull it off. Yeah. We used to do, um, when I worked at a pizza place back in Philly, we would do um, like our version of a deep dish, which really wasn't a deep dish. It was like a tin. You stretch your dough, put it in. It's almost like a, uh, it's more along the lines of a, um, uh, uh, what the hell is that called? Anyway, it's a tin, you put the dough in it. It's pot pie. It's more like a pot pie, but with pizza dough. And you fill it with your different fillings, and you put a piece of provolone on top, and then close up the dough. That was always fun. I always liked those. Amanda has about zero interest in me doing one of those. <laughs> one of these days, I will make one for myself. Blue cheese with wings is incredible. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, I mean, I've seen both, but traditionally it is the latter, B-L-E-U. That is the, the actual spelling, and then I think it just got Americanized with like, well, they just mean blue, right? But no, we don't. It's like French for whatever the hell that is. It's probably French for a green, <laughs> or moldy, something like that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure if you go to Wingstop, they spell it like the color. You want blue cheese dressing with that? Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to try and make this work, I think, because it's getting late. <clears throat> All right, there it goes. Now before I straight out get into the dough, I'm going to cut my prosciutto.
Um, Chris introduced me to blue cheese and gouda. Oh, nice. Yeah, blue is probably one of uh, Betty's favorite cheeses, or at least it was for a little while. I haven't really had it lately. But we get these gorgonzola uh, crackers from Trader Joe's, which are it's a type of blue cheese. Or it's basically the same. I mean, if I'm just going to eat... We, we get a lot of, like, Colby Jack and uh, Monterey Jack and cheddar because of the kids. So those are totally cool, snacky cheeses where it's just, like, on a cracker or straight. I mean, it's like a blue cheese. Yeah, it's, it's particularly strong, though. I love it. Yeah, especially if you're doing like salads and stuff, it's great. It's definitely got a bite, like a bite to it. Let's start this. There it is. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you'll like it. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're gonna do. All right. So. Five uh, 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 pieces of prosciutto. And I'm just gonna quarter these. Just have it come up. Oh, I can just use this. Everything with the pizza slicer. No, maybe not. Maybe I need a real knife. All right. Balancing my phone at the same time, not uh, ideal apparently. There we go, I've perfected it. Alright. Okay, so five slices of prosciutto cut into quarters. And we'll just put that over on the side here. Floured. And always, always adding flour. Okay, we'll push it out. I had prosciutto with crackers before. Prosciutto is fantastic. It's bacon you eat cold, essentially. So I'm just symmetrically pushing this out. And then I'll go around it with my heel or my palm. This kind of creates beginnings of my crust. Okay. And then you use your hand like this to lay in the crust. So, let's see. I'm basically doing this, but I'm using my other hand to help guide it. Okay, so I'll push it out some more. Yeah, this is a pretty good temperature now. Okay, now, now we gotta throw you guys here. Where's the back of this? Oh, uh, hi, Iris, what's up? I'm gonna need some space, but I'm gonna flip it. Over there. Because that's what we do. We flip a pizza. Hey, we got pickle pizza. So actually, really quick, I'm gonna put these flatware away. So it's not in my way. That can go there. The suspense. Uh -huh. Maybe I'm just gonna do suspense. Always awesome. I make the crust right on. 
knocking this thing off of this. Oh, thanks, Iris. You help me turn it away? Yeah. Here, try this one. Good. Let's see where these guys are. Hmm. Down here. All right. Well, sorry about deal with this angle for a second while I put this down. So my peel is right here, and I'm just, oh, I don't need your help spinning it. I'm just coating that with flour. So I'll drape this over. Oh, that's kind of hard for me to have help with. Um, but actually it will, if I've done it right, it'll go right over, and then I can actually just crimp the edge of my, uh, crust, you just pinch the edge, and it comes in. That's perfect. Oh, and I just remembered, the whole point of this was to make a heart-shaped pizza. Hang on! So I'm going to fold this, and uh, it's going to be a loose heart, because I kind of went... Okay, so here we go, we're just going to do this. And then kind of cut this edge. All right, so we just cut out that. Basically, fold it in half. Okay. So I'm actually going to use this little piece that I cut from the other part to make the point as part of the crust up here on the top. I don't want to waste anything. Don't look! Pizza! This is, I don't know how good this is going to look when it's done, but it's going to be heart ish. Heart shaped ish. Okay. There we go. Yes, you did. You totally knew I was doing this. So this was here. And I just cut that out. Happy Valentine's Eve, Eve, Eve. And then we got this little bit that we can do something with, perhaps. And then this you can make into like a G-string or bikini bottom. All right, anyway, dokini. Uh, nothing says love like pizza. I think that's accurate. So I could actually make some kind of pizza stromboli empanada out of this little leftover bit. All right, out of my way. <laughs> This is my homemade ladle. Right. Hang on. I just had a thought about this. I'm going to spin the... Right now, the point is here and the pumps are here. And I feel like when I go to put it in the oven, it's going to just be easier to get it off of the peel if it's the other it's the other way, so I've just rotated this. I could be completely wrong. 
This is going to be weird to cut up. <laughs> All right. But yeah, if you look in my, uh, I think I linked it in the video description. Sorry. Sorry. If you look in my past videos, I've also done heart-shaped pepperoni pizza. Where the pizza, pizza's normal, but the pepperoni are heart-shaped. All right, but let's put the sauce on this thing. This is the, uh, the white sauce. I don't know if it's going to take the same amount as normal. I'll do four. And normally I do concentric circles, but it's a heart, so I <laughs> just got to spread it out the way we can. Do you ever drink liquor? I do. <laughs> and actually, if you watch the one I want, the, the heart shaped pepperoni pizza, I think that's a big part of that one is make sure to drink enough whiskey. Okay. I am a, a scotch and whiskey and dark beer drinker. Those are my things. Okay. So there's the bechamel. A review of that. Relatively light coating. Okay, now the thing I always tell everyone is make sure before you get into this you have opened your cheese bag because when you get to this point and your hands are coated in flour, it can be really hard. <laughs> but I actually was able to do it. So there's that. I do not drink IPAs or Hefeweizens or wheat beers or pale ales. I'm not, I guess IPA is a pale ale. Not into all those. I like stouts, porters, uh, like a dark lager, imperial, anything that's, you know, super dark looking. That's my thing. Uh, Oh, uh, one of my favorite beers is um, it is a peanut butter milk stout from Belching Beaver, which is a terribly awesome name for a beer company. Uh, for uh, Old Rasputin, which is an imperial stout, and then one of the one of the, the beers I tend to drink on a regular rotation are. Um, the Trader Joe's HLV, or uh, what's the, uh, the fire one? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, shoot. I totally wanted to put the figs under the cheese. So we're probably going to have some extra cheese on this today. All right, I'm going to drain the figs. This is going off crazy. <laughs> Doing a lot of... A lot of things out of order today. All right, hang on. Um. All right, I'm going to cut these up. That's not terrible. Dropping some on the floor, that's fine. Yes. 
So I've done only a couple of these. I'm going to see how, how much space this is up on the pizza. Okay. Yeah, let's do at least two more. These two big ones, and I'll give the kids the other one, probably. Yeah, this is super weird, but... Alright, it's a learning day here at the, uh... Proof Family Kitchen. Welcome to Willet Pizza, Dried Figs Edition. But Daddy, that's gonna be a cheese and mushroom pizza. This is a fig and prosciutto pizza. Oh, can I try some of the fig? Yeah, I'm gonna have a whole fig for you. Don't. Which whole fig? It's in this silver uh, bowl. Let me just see how much I want. There's two of them. Yeah, you may, I might have to split it. We'll see if this last fig is enough. Cause I might want one more. But based on how sweet these are. Probably not. I think we're good. All right. Thanks, Daddy. Now, let's see. Yep, Daddy, that's enough. Well, you just want a whole fig for yourself. <laughs> I know how it is. Is it enough? All right, guys. So this is what this is going to look like. I'm going to put a little more cheese over it just to lock in the moisture that's on there. And then we sing, bring us What's some figgy pizza. Dough? So bring us some figgy pizza. That? Pizza. No, we're gonna make something out of it. Leave what, it. What are we gonna make out of it? Eat this. Wait. Iris, here. Fig. Do they eat have that. Put pits? aside. Do they have pits? No, they have seeds, not pits. You eat the whole thing. Mm. All right, so we're gonna to to eat the fig. And I'll put a little more of this cheese on here. And it's gonna get covered with prosciutto to basically lock in the moisture. What are we going to make with that dough? I'm going to make a little, I don't know yet. We'll, I'll figure it out in a minute. A mini pizza. I think I'm going to make like a little stromboli. For sure. I don't know. Where did you get That's our Valentine's. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna... That's our Valentine's. It is. It's a Valentine's pizza. Right. So I guess this is when I'm going to put my feta on as well. I want some of that too. Hold on. That'll count as my second layer of cheese. Daddy, I want some of that cheese. Okay. Okay. I want some of that cheese. There, that's it. Enough. Get out of here. Out of the way. I Move really it. wanted some of that. What? I wanted some of that cheese. Yeah, out of, that's the pizza cheese. No. Okay, Except then can I have some big chunk there. Pushy. I don't know. Let me see how much I'm using. Okay. Because. Everything's going to be slightly less than I would normally use on a regular pizza because it's a heart. It's a heart shape. But also, I, I do want to use this to cover as much of the fig as possible to lock in any moisture on the fig. It does look good. Yep. My little heart dough. All right, suggestions on thoughts on what to put in the extra dough that I'm going to make a stromboli out of? I'm thinking, I got some white sauce left, so I'm definitely doing that. White sauce, cheese, bear with me, blueberries? Um, I don't really think blueberries. I would think blueberries. That would give it an extra good taste. I'm going to do it. Should I put some ham in with it or something? Eh, yeah, not ham. No. Yeah, we could do ham. That'd be good. For sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hey, Daddy. Y'all can have some. Put some feta cheese in the, the one with the blueberries? Maybe. Okay, well, hang on, guys. Some, some. Daddy? Yeah, me? And Iris. And Why does it have a new? Oh, my God. Oh, my no, I'm gonna put this one on. Okay, everyone, step over there. Okay. All right, here we go. Ta-da! All right, now we do the shake test, which I will guarantee this pizza will not shake because it has been sitting there way too long. Eventuality, but it does not shake. You give it a little one of these, and because it's a heart shape, I'm gonna do it to both sides. 
give it a little lift and blow. I don't know if you can see that, but it is. I'm going to do this now. I can already tell you that's going to be a long, long heart. Uh, what, Penny? I said, lies on heart. Because Valentine's Day is coming up. And I'm probably not going to be making another one between now and Valentine's Day. So that goes in for seven minutes, and then we spin it for another seven minutes. Oh, again, it's a smaller pizza. It may take a little less time, so it's I'll put an eyeball on that. Pizza. And now, let's have fun with this thing. I want to play with some stuff. What? I want to play with some stuff. I'm not playing with it. I'm cooking it. I'm going to make All right, everybody back it up. It's not a quesadilla. No, it's a dough ball. We're going to make a stromboli out of it. You guys, keep Can I eyes. watch you do this? Stromboli? Can you back up, Iris? Yes. Okay, but I need to be here. Ah. A Danish? Not, not quite, but yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. The pizza version of a Danish, more or less. I need a no, that's got to be a stromboli. No, 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 no. No, because of the size, we're not going to put that on the... Honey, go to the um, go to this, the Why bathroom. Why do we have that? Go to the bathroom. Grab the grab the single step. Oh, it is in the laundry room. Daddy, I'm explaining that. No, nope. uh, you need to be here. You need to step over. So I'm gonna put this right on this. Dang it! Every time. No, the second time it was me. The first time it was Betty moving stuff around. Stop moving. This is for Iris, not you. Um, don't touch the phone. But I can't. You don't need to see the phone. The phone is supposed to be looking at this. Why? All right, now, the thing is, this is a triangle, which is not the right shape for this. So I'm trying to stretch it out to a different uh, form. What different? What it's a different form? shape. There you go. So it's kind of a trapezoid at this point. And... Just using this as a roller. What? Who's pooping? Yeah? Right? Stop. Sure. Stop messing with my foil. It needed to be like sitting flat. Like, right we can both use this step, right? But actually, Betty, you're tall enough that you don't need to. Okay. So we're just gonna put like. But then I need to be right here. Chunk of cheese right there. I want no, you can't be right there. I want some of that cheese. I want some of that cheese. What? I want some of that cheese. Wait. Wait. Mm. You guys need to. Yeah. Be Quiet and out of the way, Can and then after that? all that, I'll just bang you in the head with my elbow because you're right next to me. Sorry. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take this. Covered with yogurt. It is. It's yogurt and milk. Put it on my little, a little bit of my sauce right here. Stop. Get out of my dough. You can leave. Okay. That. This could be whatever. You could do red sauce, whatever. Um, you could just make that a pizza pocket and pop it in like that. Or fold it over. And first. that is also a yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. Yeah, we have yeah. some yogurt. No? Ah, bummer. All right, snap decision time. Not doing raspberries, I'll tell you that much. No, I'm not, I want to touch it right now. Uh, okay, but later, I don't have to touch it right Honey, honey, I'm cooking the dinner. Move, move, move. Later, later, later. Oh, you know what? No, you have to ask Mommy. Go ask Mommy. I do not have my gummy. Okay, you can ask Mommy for that, too. I got it. All right, there's no blueberries, which was my plan, so... 
I already put the white sauce on it. That's fine. I don't soon. You gotta give me five like five minutes. Alright, this is what I'm doing. We'll see how this is. I don't know. I'm gonna put a little uh pastrami. And uh and some onion. I said I can do help you in five minutes. I can't do anything right now. Hey, Mama. I don't like onion, but that's gonna be cooked. Yeah, you're not. You don't even have to have that. This is more like just a thing. I really want it. <sighs> Away from the fridge. Yeah. Guys, over there. This over. Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna. So it's kind of got a rip in the top, which is really because no. it's, it's overloaded. It's gonna vent. But also, I did it very fast. <laughs> It's totally gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's just, what's the point? That's just a piece of. That's just not even a thing. It is a thing. You don't know. And they're all just still here. All right, all right. I have like eight seconds of hard to get the actual pizza. But it does need to vent, so... Well, it's got some vents, baby. Right. I don't know. Okay. So, better watch out. Mm. It's hot! Are you just turning? Yeah, this is just a turning. Oh, it's so thick. You know. It's a heart! Mom, this this in. In. Daddy made it a heart, so it's really thick. Mom, did Daddy make it a heart? Oh, Valentine's Day. Do you guys have cups already? No. Right. And then Matt. I'm going to do that for another seven minutes. I'm going to throw that little guy in, which will probably take about as long. Uh, Iris, put that down. Come on. Oh, you balanced it on your head. Anything else with the pizza? Cool. I mean, do we have a salad of the types? Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, we could fold it, fold but it. Sure. I don't know if I have one left. I mean, we could also just take the stuff out of that. One. You could just take the meat out and put it in a sandwich bag, really. Sure. That's fine. Okay. Other alternative would be like tinfoil or something, but it's a little bit more. Mommy, can I help you? Mommy, can I take out some milk? Yeah, 
fast as we can. We need to have her some milk. Rinse out her cup so she just like eats it. She said, and of course, live stream, we've got some new milk. Oh, yeah, we just opened it. There. Fantastic. Good <laughs> hosting abilities, Iris. <laughs> there you go. Of course, live stream, we've got some new milk. Drink. So cute. The drinking of the new milk. That's just, you're adorable, Iris. Uh, no, we don't really. Oh, good. Uh, good reminder. So we'll. Uh, for dessert, the adults will be having some HLV, and and uh, you know how those. My HLV? Oh really? Um. No, no. I guess that's all. I mean, I. Got, I just have that other beer that you put in there. I was gonna the say. Water beer with the pizza, and then just not drink. Two. I was gonna say they all just drink that other beer with the pizza. Then. <laughs> all right, I'll grab one of those, and I'll just have that on ice. Because I'm fancy. I wouldn't normally, but our sister Amanda still works. What is it? Anheuser Busch? Is that the company? No, no, Paps. 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 Uh, I don't know if it's the same company now. No. Whatever. Not at all. Like I said, we got these for free. <laughs> so I'll put this in the freezer for three minutes <laughs> and then throw that on ice. That'll be. Right. Yeah. So no real desserts. Just uh, some little chocolatey cookies later on. Hey, get your hands out of the milk. But I like Oh, real what day? You know, what now? Um, oh, is that what day that is? Yeah, that's like, what are you doing? Don't open it. I'll open it soon. Yes. Okay, so either way, we're not going to be on the actual day. Okay, Iris, I will take it out shortly. In like two minutes, the thing's going to be done. I'm going to throw it into these guys right there. Um, yeah, I thought we were, we should have gotten two does. We got what? You should have in a second now. We should always, we should just always do two pizzas at this point, I think. If we're going to go on. I think we'll have to make three at that point, almost. What, is it eight pieces? Yeah. I don't even know how to cut this one. You want me to figure it out. Okay, move this way. Is it the speakers? I do. Is it a truck? Sounds like an idling truck. Oh, it could also be our speakers. Which side? Alright, we have about 30 seconds. Let's take this thing out. We have to do laundry tonight. Okay. I'm going to smoke it. I'm opening the oven. Here we go. Oh my god, that works. Got a bump, we don't have a uh, room. I, I moved one, and I thought you weren't going to make this pizza. I don't know, I thought we were going to do a different kind. I don't know. Why are you going to make it to me? How much time? I think it was in somebody's clothes or something. Okay.
on that little straw rolling to come out. That was hot. Um, it's too long. I gotta turn it this way to cut it. It smells pretty nasty, I gotta say. Sure, the best course of slicing. Mm, yeah, I guess. Let's pretend it's round. See what that does. Uh. All right, am I eating by myself? Is that the deal? You fly over. Wait, let's get the stand. I hear all of that. All right. No respect. Maybe your mom is meant to hear things. It's at the table. This pizza's already on it. Don't give me that. I got another thing I'm doing. To the limit? Take it to the limit. Is that a song? Or... No, the trash can is a limit. There's a mosquito in the fountain. Fancy, fancy. Like a dead mosquito? Okay. Uh, there's no little larva swimming around though, right? But there shouldn't be because it's not still water. That's crazy. I'm gonna pull that little thing out of the oven in a second. Toto. And then that's it. Then we're gonna eat. Sam Meech, what I was saying is, as far as streaming tomorrow, this stream brought to you by General Mills, um, not really. I have a meeting in the morning. What time is my thing tomorrow? I don't even remember. Yeah, my agent. Yeah, I have two on Thursday. The one at night, the audition, and an interview. 7.30. Um, I don't know. I have to look it up. I feel like it's like 10 or 11. Maybe it's later. I have to look this thing up, so I'm not sure what my, what's going on with my stream tomorrow. But there's a good chance that I can stream when I'm coming back and driving through Hollywood. So you get your wish of seeing some of Los Angeles. But I'm not sure what time anything's happening. Charlie, go! But I will have it posted on the Discord. Uh... -huh. 
powder and the red chili flakes. Do you have a thing? Crushed red pepper. And... Tap it with some fire. Stromboli experiments. Thanks, dinner. <laughs> You're gonna let that cool for a second. Get these plates to the table and sign off. Thanks for joining me, guys. Girls, dinner. Sam, sit and eat by yourself. Will do. Okay. Who wants blue? Who wants purple? Um, purple. Your favorite. Great. Everybody's happy. I am taking a piece of my choice. And that was a good time. It was really good. It was salty and sweet. Oh, the oven is tripping. All right. Thanks for joining me, guys. Um, yeah, I will figure out my uh, my streaming schedule for tomorrow. This whole week is going to be a little weird, especially tomorrow and Thursday. Um, and then back to a relatively normal schedule next week, unless I end up landing a job. <laughs> but uh, look for updates on facebook.com slash samproof or discord.me slash samproof or twitter.com slash samproof. And I will see you next time. I'll be on Discord uh, in about two and a half hours, two hours tonight. And I'll see you later. Stay strong, guys. Bloop.